Traveler Tyler here. I've made it to the train station in Long Prabang. It was about a 20 minute drive out of the town. And I believe this is the Lao China or the China Lao Railway. And China came in and pretty much helped fund and build it for him. So yeah, let's get on our train. We got plenty of time to spare. We got, yeah, like a little over an hour. So we're golden, baby. One last look at the mountains of Long Prabang. As far as I understand, in Veng Vieng, where we're going next, we'll be even deeper in the mountains. The train's arriving early, so we all got into groups outside on different platforms based on our carriage number on our ticket. A little hectic, but I think we have it figured out. Made it to Vang Vieng. Only an hour and a half ride on the slow train from Long Prabang. So, just got here, checked into my hostel. Gonna find a little something to eat, kind of explore a little bit. Uh, I have a feeling this place gets absolutely nuts later on at night. The amount of food stalls I've seen is insane. So, we'll see. All right, it is the next day in Veng Vieng, and I am at the Namse, I think is how you say it, viewpoint. Um, I think there's like a motorcycle up on the top of the mountain, so we're gonna hike that. I just made it to the base. There's like a little cafe over here where you can get fruit shakes and stuff like that. Um, it costs 10,000 kit per person. So uh, we're not really sure how long it's supposed to take. Let's get started, huh? All right. 50 feet up. It already looks nice. Some of this is pretty, pretty sketch. It's cool though. <clears throat> Some of these bamboo railings are just not supportive at all. So you kind of got to grab them and see before you put weight into them. Up the rocks we go. Nice. It's a workout, I'll tell you that. Look at that. On this episode of Tyler vs. the Jungle, he hikes to the top of Mount something to sit on his motorcycle throne. Woo! Not as bad as the, the Pinyang hike though. Ko Pinyang, that hike, it was hotter. It's still kind of morning, so it's probably like the low 80s right now. And it's significantly less humid here. Copenhagen. It was a longer hike. It was definitely hotter. And it was way more humid. That was tough. This hopefully, this time hopefully I'll have a good view too. If you've seen my Copenhagen video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Little taste, we're almost there. At least here, I haven't seen on the other trails. Here they have trash bags just kind of along the trail so that people aren't littering on the trail, which is really, really nice. That makes me happy. 35 meters 
some guy on the way down said the last 35 were the most challenging. Doesn't really seem like it at the moment. So ID. Oh, that's what he meant. All right, that's it. Then we're at the top. Made it to the top. I think I think it took me about like 30 minutes. Um, so not too bad. Maybe even a little bit less, honestly. I was taking my time as well. <clears throat> Absolutely amazing. On my way down now, that little rock scramble at the end was a lot of fun, actually. Definitely more tiring going up and significantly more difficult. All right, gonna hop back on my bike, a little, a little scoop scoop. Go swim in a little lagoon, cool down a little bit, I think. You know what? I don't think I'm going to go swimming. It looks nice, but I don't know. I saw it and I was just like, you know what? I don't think I want to swim there. And that is fine. And that's what's wonderful about solo traveling. You can randomly decide that you don't want to do something anymore or vice versa, that you want to do something that you didn't want to do earlier. And you don't gotta explain yourself to anybody. Instead now I will be going to a cave I'll catch up with you there. Well, I did not even think about the fact that there might be a hike to the cave. There was a little bit. It was just very, very steep incline, but only, only for a very short amount of time. And I made it. As soon as I got to the entrance of the cave, it felt so good. It is so much colder in the cave than it is out here. I don't know how well the GoPro will be able to see. Put a handy dandy light up on my hat. Now we can kind of see where we're going. Whoa, it's so slippery. That way it seems.
We're going in there. Oh boy. I don't know if you can see that spider. But that thing is huge. My light is right on top of it right now. It's off of it. You see that thing? Dude. Oh. Oh, there's another one. Oh, and another one. Oh, dude, there's lots of those things. Okay. <laughs> Boy. Wasn't expecting the I'm okay with spiders, but dang. Those things are big. And it's dark and we're in a cave and oh man. <laughs> oh, gotta keep moving forward though. Ooh. Oh, there's another one of those spiders, dude. Oh, it's so big. That thing is bigger than my hand. Uh-uh. Nope, 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 nope. I swear if one of them things jumps on me. <laughs> oh, it's going to be embarrassing. Everyone's going to hear me scream. Where are we going? Alright, back, focus tie. Gotta keep moving. Look at it, there's another one. I'm not gonna put my hand up by it, <laughs> but it's so big. We are pretty deep in it now. I'm still seeing white arrows, I don't know where they go. But it's just, it's just absolutely massive. It's so cool. I keep seeing those spiders, man. They're so big. They're everywhere. Oh, man. This ain't Harry Potter. And this ain't no Lord of the Rings. And I certainly don't have no Hagrid or a Samwise Gamgee to come save me from those monsters. Whew. This is crazy though i don't know if this is the way that i came no it's not time to backtrack i decided to turn around because a i don't really know i, I feel like it would be kind of easy to get lost i know there's arrows everywhere but i think i was getting to the point too where if i were to like fall and hurt myself i don't think anybody would be able to hear me unless they came down this way and everything's very slippery, and it's just not a good idea. So, I decided that I'm going to turn back for now. I can see the light. How did I get up here? Huh. We'll figure it out. Alright, so I am back in the main little area of Vengang, and I am walking to a cave that's actually really close by I guess uh, I dropped the scooter off at the at the hostel I guess it's like an eight minute drive to the cave or like a 30 minute walk but honestly my house is at the north end of the town and the cave is at the south and it's only a 30 minute walk and that gives me the opportunity to see like at least the whole place from north to south so figured I'd go with that look at that dragon fruit mango So good. It's so hot that if I close my eyes, I can still feel the heat on the inside of my eyelids. It's so hot, my eyeballs are hot. Well, guess I'm going tomorrow. They close at four o'clock and it's 3.30. I don't really think Especially if I have to pay for it. A half an hour isn't enough to explore that whole huge cave, so I'm just gonna go tomorrow. And just walking on back. <laughs> Woo! 
Good morning. It is a new day in Bangjing, and I am going to try to visit those caves again. It's like 11.30 in the morning now, so I got plenty of time to wander around those caves. What's gonna be cool about these ones compared to the ones that you saw yesterday is that these, I think, are already all lit up inside, so you can see everything. And that was the most frustrating part about the ones yesterday is that the light I have didn't work, and you guys couldn't see in the camera. So that problem should be alleviated <clears throat> in these caves. These are the way to the caves. The entrance fee was 5,000 kip, so not really much at all. <clears throat> Bunch of picnic tables everywhere. Nice little spot to hang out. There was a couple stalls where you could get some food back there. I think we have to show our ticket up here. It's quite lovely back here. All right, so it was an extra 15,000 kip to actually go to the cave. I guess the 5,000 I paid before was just to get into this little park area. But look, more stairs. There's just, there's always stairs. Everything I want to do, everywhere I want to go, there's stairs. Or I'm just climbing uphill and there's no stairs. But I'm always going up. <sighs> Welcome to Bangjing Resort. And here we go. Well, that was really cool. It was definitely smaller than the other cave from yesterday, but it was all lit up so you could see everything and that in and of itself made it worthwhile for sure. Only took probably 15 minutes. Um, not that not that big, like I said, but um, I'm just gonna kind of walk around the rest of the this little park that they have now and kind of explore what's going on around here. Nice little bridge. Uh, this thing feels like it's gonna Nah. <laughs> I guess you can go for a swim. stairs right on let's take a look see huh
Nice. Little hidden Buddha. Whoa. Back down we go. It looks like there may have been another bridge at one point. And then something may have happened. So they built this thing in the meantime. Alright, well I think that was pretty much it for this park. I'm just going to go back, work on editing um, some of these videos. And yeah, that's about it. Probably just going to have a chill night tonight, honestly. This is my house, by the way. Pretty chill. It's got like a little pool table inside and some foosball. Nothing too crazy. A couple of the other hostels around here have pools and stuff. Shoes outside. A little bar. A separate area for like eating or doing work or whatever else you gotta do. <clears throat> Here's a little view of my dorm room if you want to take a look. My spot's up here. There's, I guess there's two, four, six, eight, ten beds. Not bad. AC goes on at night, works okay. It's fine. Got a fan going for most of the day though. Yeah. Not too shabby. Okay, I am at a place called Santa Jay or something like that for lunch today. Um, my bus comes and picks me up and brings me to the train station in about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to Vientiane today on the high speed rail, which I'm looking forward to trying because I've read a lot about it and I've never gotten the opportunity to go on before. So pretty excited for that. Uh, the meal I got was uh, is LARP. Uh, LARP is the national dish of Lao. Uh, and it's very, very good. I've grown a um, little bit of a liking to it for sure. Um, this time I got it with pork. It's either, I mean, you can get it with pork or chicken, beef. I mean, pretty much anything really, even like lamb or duck. Um, and the big thing here, I'll show you. It's a, it's a meat salad is what it is. <clears throat> So it usually comes with assorted greens. Sometimes it's different. Always is very herbal. Um, always, always has mint. Usually a good bit of cilantro as well. Sometimes they'll throw in some um, like Thai basil or something like that. And what they do is they cook the meat um, with sometimes like scallions and shallots. Um, I don't see any shallots this time. But um, they cook it with a rice powder to kind of give it a little bit more texture. A little bit of lime or lemon, and honestly, it's just super, super tasty. Um, sometimes chilies too, sometimes it's a little spicy, other times not so much, but um, yeah, honestly really good. I forgot, it always comes with rice, usually sticky rice. Yum. Wow, that was delicious. And it only cost 47,000 kip for the food. And I also had a small can of uh, Coke Zero. So, a lot of food for quite cheap. All right, y'all, that's it for this one. I'll catch you on the next video. Taking the high-speed train into Vientiane and then on from there. Cheers. <laughs>